Hello, everybody, to this week's Change Look. I'm Jonas, and uh, this week I'm joined by Mike McKenna, and we are both actually currently in Salt Lake City at Mountain Dow. So maybe, Mike, you want to share some stats about that? Yeah, so Mountain Dow is a month-long blockchain hacking festival in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, as the name suggests, we are surrounded by some very gorgeous snowy mountains. We have more than 110 people here this week. There'll be a little bit over under 400 people um, throughout the whole month. And some of the best builders in the whole uh, ecosystem uh, are here. I was speaking to the Anagram Labs people yesterday about some amazing things they're doing with AI and Solana. Um, TH Lawrence, who made the amazing local host um, validator that has the cool snapshot so you can like rewind back and forward in time. Um, I, Spoke to him a few minutes ago. Um, it's really like all the most talented people in Solana are here this month. And if you can get here, you absolutely should. Yeah, I love it. I met so many uh, nice devs already. A thing that I didn't love so much, of course, everyone noticed last week we had an outage on mainnet beta. So it took around five hours and it, uh, yeah, it was on the 6th of February in the night. And the fix for this was actually already prepared. So um, it was quickly rolled out, and then in the night, like all the validators gathered together in Discord and figured out the highest available optimistically confirmed slot. And then they uh, yeah, coordinated all together um, how to um, get the restart going on that one. And then it was restarted, so it was resolved after about five hours, which is nice that it went very quickly. But um, yeah, it's still, of course, bad for the ecosystem and like Solana in general. So you can follow the whole um, report that uh, Ansa prepared on solana.com slash news. And there you can see all the details, exactly uh, what went down, what the exact bug was. And um, yeah, um, DevNet was not uh, down in that time. So if you're a developer, you might have in the past have like uh, have had some problems getting DevNet. So, so now we have this nice guide here, which has, um, shows you a bunch of ways how you can get DevNet. So the first one is, of course, uh, um, Solana CLI. You can just type Solana's uh, airdrop um, two or five. So you can get um, 10 salt per day like this. Then we have the web faucet which has a way higher airdrop um, limit. And, um, and one cool thing that was added this week is actually now you can also add a GitHub login and then you can get an even higher amount of Sol every hour. Then there's also a few RPC providers uh, which run their own faucets. So if you use um, their URL when you do request the airdrop, then you have a way better chance of getting uh, getting Sol. So they, uh, like Helios, QuickNote and Triton have this actually at the moment. So they're also running definite validators. And um, then you, we also have a proof of work for it. So in case you need like higher amounts, you can just uh, install this tool and let it run for a while and it will generate uh, salt for you over, over time. And then there's also a few Discord uh, communities like um, the Lampert DAO and the 76 Devs Discord. So they run in, they are bots here in Discord. So like with uh, Gibsol, you can get something. And yeah, my favorite tip is actually that you just use uh, Solana program show minus minus buffers which shows you all the buffers that you already have, and then you can just close them. Or a Solana program show minus minus programs. And like I have 25 programs deployed, and you can just close a few of them probably and then just reuse this all. So it's like a very sustainable way on going forward with that. So this is one of the guides. There's another one. So we have a new version of um, SPL JavaScript SDK, the version 0 0.40. And this one has some improvements on how you how the transfer hooks works. So there's especially there's some helper functions now, which um, can get very easily get you all the additional accounts that you need for the transfer hooks. So this guide is updated now, and there's like a hello world, there's a counter program, and a more complex example, which shows you how you can use a delegate to have transfer fees. So um, check out this guide, and then um, every one of the examples also has a link, which directly opens the code in Solana Playground, which makes it very easy to use. And if you want to write your own guides like this, so if you want to help and participate, there's the repository developer content. So you can just like, if you have a good guide or you want to like help the community, you can uh, open a GitHub uh, like um, pull request here and then we will look at it and merge it. One other thing that is uh, amazing uh, is we have a Scribes Hackathon coming up. So if oh, you're yeah, into documentation, there are $137,390 worth of prizes. And I originally, when I heard about this, I thought it was just for kind of technical documentation. Um, it is really the, the whole world of, of Solana. Um, so it's economics, it's DeFi, um, it's communication, 
it's things like poems and thought provoking essays. Um, where can <laughs> we everything. take this technology? Yeah. Uh, there's memes. There is all types of like just amazing uh, public goods, um, gaming. Um, this is the first uh, hackathon in Solana that's just been about writing. So if you're the uh, if you want to create the kind of documentation you always wish you had, um, if you want to if you've got some some thoughts about blockchain or you know the the future of um, you know the economy or the world or how we transmit value to each other, um, yeah, this is the time to kind of get published and get get paid um, for for doing so. So I'm very excited about this. Yeah, I think it's great. It's run by Lampard Tao and also Helios is involved, I think. So, yeah, check this out. Yeah, some amazing sponsors there. Uh, one other thing, which is also great, um, uh, is that we now have a new doc site. It used to be docs.solana.com. Now it's solana.com slash docs. And it's more than just a URL change. Um, there's a lot of effort here into um, making sure that the doc site is a lot better, a lot more navigable. We have... There's little uh, anchor links in the middle of uh, documents so you can deep link into something. Uh, we have a beautiful GitHub page, which will take, take you straight to edit that specific document. So if you're unhappy with anything, you can actually modify it and it will send us a PR for, to review. Um, and we're, we're putting a lot of effort into basically making sure we're producing um, less documents that are better maintained. So we're retiring a lot of the older docs and really just merging it into one place. And that place to find everything will be solana.com slash docs. Yeah, so they moved from docs.solana.com so to solana.com slash docs. And they are now also split. So yeah, it's way easier to change now. And yeah, just yeah. very, very good for the future. If you haven't been, if you're a Solana developer and you haven't been um, here in the past, it's worth coming back because we are constantly working on these docs. Um, and yeah, come back and see what's changed. And uh, if you, again, if you're not happy, uh, we have the Solana Developers Twitter account where um, the Dev Ecosystem hangs out. And uh, you can just talk to us there or on GitHub. Yeah. One other great thing in Solana is users helping each other. So we have the Solana Stack Exchange um, I'm fairly active on there, Jonas, I know you are too. Um, and we want to give a shout out to some of the new users. Um, so Fuzzy Yeti has had 298 points in only 44 days. Um, Way.Sol has gotten 240 points in only 21 days. Um, it is, yeah, the Stack Exchange is great. There's a lot of really active, interesting questions being uh, asked. And uh, we want to encourage you, if you get a help um, from a Stack Exchange question and answer, vote. Make sure you vote for the answer, but also make sure you vote for the question too, because that person who uh, asked that question uh, probably saved you a bunch of time, just as the person who provided the answer did. Um, I love Solana Stack Exchange. Yeah, me too. If you search based on the specific error you're actually having, um, you can get very, you can get answers almost instantly. Um, even for things that I have kind of, I think previously would have like copy and pasted between projects. Um, I now just look at some of like my own answers on Solana Stack Exchange, um, just because it's more easily findable. Um, yeah, it's like great digging. that the content, the answers are Googleable now, so it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, I am so like it's. I think Jacob was uh, really, really smart to set this up. I, I love it so much. So yeah, it's Solana Stack Exchange. Uh, honestly, if you're if you have any error message on the console. Um, if it's not obvious what it is, paste it into Solana Stack Exchange and you'll, you'll probably find an answer almost immediately. Yeah. Did you see any interesting commits this week? Yes. Uh, this is an interesting one. And it took us a little while to work out what this was. So this is actually um, by uh, one of the people who runs Gito, which is actually right now is 51% uh, of all Solana validators use Gito. Uh, so there's the Gito validator, there's the Ansel uh, validator, uh, and soon coming up, there's Jump Fire Dancer, as many people are excited about, and there'll be more validators on the way. Um, this took a, me and Jonas were actually talking about this before the podcast started, and it took us a little while to kind of work out what was going on um, because we couldn't work out what was the difference between tipping and priority fees. Um, and I don't have a lot of experience in the MEV GEDO world, um, but this is a really interesting read. So it turns out that tipping is uh, uh, something you can add to your transactions that 
only gets paid if the transaction actually goes through. So the leader will receive that tip if it processes the transaction, as opposed to a priority fee, which is taken even if the transaction does, does not immediately go through. So yeah, this is interesting. There's a, you know Again, this is uh, an ongoing discussion. It's worth checking out, reading people, talking about how to implement this um, and whether it's a good idea. Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically standardizing something that is uh, already a popular practice in the GTO world and making it really part of the um, Solana core protocol. Yeah, and it's a very interesting, the different solutions that they discuss here. So the first solution is like having a tip program but this would not go very well with um, having um, like multiple transactions. So um, they are also proposing like having a um, syscall to like sound directly fund sol to the current leader. So it's very interesting discussion if you want to like scroll through this and participate yourself. And yeah, we were just talking about the uh, fees. So there's also a SIMD, which is um, still ongoing. We talked about it earlier. But it's, um, it's a very uh, big discussion here. So you can see there are uh, lots of comments. And this is like um, for having uh, exponentially increasing fees on, uh, on accounts. So this is like, for example, important if you have like a very heavily congested state, like uh, during an NFT mint. Or recently we had this um, big token um, airdrop uh, that you all have noticed probably. So um, yeah, please follow the discussions in here. And you can see uh, lots of statistics on fees. And everyone has like different ideas. So like this, it's very difficult to find a perfect solution for this, of course. Yeah, here you can see, for example, um, the statistics during the last uh, airdrop. So um, yeah, go into the discussions and participate yourself. And yeah, try to help improve the future of Solana. I think that's it. Yeah, I think it's already half this week. So yeah, um, come visit us at Mountain Dow if you're, uh, if you're close by. And um, yeah, see you all next week. Excellent. See you guys. Bye-bye.